I'm making here are stuffed, or stuffed uh, hamburgers. I preheat the oven at 400 degrees and we'll put about what, five slides of bacon in there. On the, we'll put five things bacon on the on the pot on the pan here. Put a five uh, high. Let that sauté or fry up a little bit. Four burgers from the old fine, the very fine Home Depot or uh, HEB. So what you're going to do is you're going to put these hamburger buns in here. Put two eggs so that the eggs will, so the, the hamburger will stick together. Excuse me. Put a little salt on there. Along with some pepper. Always use gloves in this situation. You don't want to get your hands all really nasty looking. This is great for a cavity search. So what I'm doing here, I'm making a little hole for in the bank in the middle of the of the hamburger, so I can cut up some bacon and mix it up with mix it up with the feta cheese. See, make a little incision like that. So that's done. Chop it up real good. Get 
Get about you know, half a cup of feta cheese, mix it all up with the bacon. You can see. Okay. So you put the bacon and the feta right in the middle right there. Smells very darn good. You can get the other half of the bat uh, of the meat. Make it nice and good in there. Big one. Okay. So I don't know if y'all do this, but I I save the bacon grease because you can use it for making homemade gravy or uh other stuff, um, make some good refried beans. So, I recommend it. All right, so, turn, turn on high, get yourself a spatula, and scoop this thing up. You don't even need to use oil. You don't need to use oil because it's already greased up for you. That's a big thing. That's a big hamburger, isn't it? Sure is. It's good. Let that flip on. Let that go both sides. And then when you're done with that, you put it put them in the oven for about oh. 7, 18 minutes maybe, and it'd be good to go. Alright, now that's done, I'm putting them in the oven. Put them in there for about 18 minutes. Temperature is at 400 degrees and bake it for about 18 minutes. And then I gotta toast these buns. I prefer the King Hawaiian because they got the best buns in America today, I think. They're really, really great, really good, and taste really good. Set them on top of the oven for a little bit. Let them steam up a little bit and they'll be good to go. Okay, so we're the oven is done. We'll see how they turn how they look. Oh yeah. Look really good. And they're done and they're ready to go. So now I gotta chop up some I'm gonna leave them in here and uh let them warm up a little bit, let them cool off. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and chop up some onions and uh, tomatoes and lettuce. I'm going to get this. Well, actually, I'm not going to cut up the lettuce because you just grab a handful of it and just do it like that. But the tomatoes, just, you know, just cut them like so. I got romaine because I like them. They're a little bit harder and more easier to cut. And they're a lot better, I think. All right, we get a, one red onion. The reason why red is a little bit more sweeter, I guess. I I, I prefer it. And always remember, whenever you 
have an onion, always try to put it in the micro or put it in a, in a cold environment so you won't get too emotional. I learned that the hard way, and it wasn't fun. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm just gonna get all the the onions, get into the onion, get the 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 larger ones, and get rid of the smaller ones. Because those are the best ones for, uh, for a hamburger. And then the lettuce, you just get the top layer of it and get rid of it because that's probably going to be bad. Okay? So, do this. Get that off and just start laying them down like so. Rinse it out too, however. Okay. And get your buns. Oh boy, they're smelling nice. Yeah, that's a how that's a burnt that's a bun for you. Nice and oily and greasy and everything. It's good. So you get about three, four onions. Okay. So Get the bun, get the patty, there you go, that's what you call a burger. by Damon Lawler.